Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from podweather.com with an update on Hurricane Dolly, which is nearing landfall in extreme southeastern Texas. You can see there on the overall picture, Dolly is uh, a lot better organized than it was 12 hours ago when I spoke to you, and the eye is showing up even from this distance right there off the Texas coastline. Let's take a look at the latest on Hurricane Dolly as of 11 a.m. Eastern. Now these, uh, this map hasn't completely been updated yet, so I'll do it for you. It was at 26.0 north, 97.0 west. Maximum sustained winds were up to 100 miles an hour now, which makes it a Category 2 hurricane, and they could certainly gust into the 120s. It's moving northwest at 6, and the pressure has been plummeting this morning, now down to 964 millibars. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. The track expected to come on shore in a few hours and then weaken to a hurricane later tonight of Category 1 intensity, then a depression over the next few days as it moves inland. But let me tell you, we still have Dolly to deal with in the short term. We do have hurricane warnings out from Corpus Christi all the way down to northern Mexico, including the Brownsville area. And that looks to be the general vicinity of where it's going to come ashore near Brownsville, South Padre Island. I'll show you that in a minute. You can see the wind radii with the system, as I mentioned yesterday, has a large one. And indeed, tropical storm force winds almost all the way up to Corpus and uh, all the way down past Matamoros, Mexico, for sure. They had an unofficial wind gust to 119 miles an hour in Matamoros. I don't know how uh, accurate that is. This map's update, you can see winds 100 miles an hour gusting to 120 moving northwest at 6, and with that northwest motion, we now have those hurricane force winds starting to spread onshore just a little bit. Now, as far as the storm surge is, con is concerned with that onshore flow here, you should continue to see the storm surge push onshore and be an issue over the next several hours as the hurricane really slows down and starts to make that move. Uh, right for the coastline. Now you can see the visible satellite loop as the uh, eye of the hurricane shows up very vividly. This morning the pressure dropped uh, all the way down 10 millibars to 967 and then it plummeted some more and it's now down to 964 and continued strengthening until landfall is expected. And you can see the eye walls right in this region right around here and here's the coastline so it's getting very very close. Although even the latest track from the hurricane center if we put on the tropical cyclone forecast points here you can um, clearly see that the eye already at the end there starts to move just a bit to the north and west of where its uh, position is, which means that it could well move a little north of the track, but it could always bend west a little south. Either way, southeast Texas appears to be in for the count. Again, here's the latest radar out of Brownsville, and you can see a beautiful spinning cyclone there, very well-defined curved bands, and at the end there, there's the eye, and uh, again, the eye wall, these winds in here are of hurricane force, so it's all spreading on shore, and that eye wall continues to look better organized. And if we zoom in just a little bit here, and I kind of focus it there, you can see Brownsville, Texas is uh, right there, and there's the eye of the hurricane. And again, it's continued a little bit further to the north here, and right around here is where the eye is, but those winds, look at these bands coming in here, these winds are no doubt of uh, hurricane intensity as we continue to see Dolly really uh, continue that motion off towards uh, the northwest now at a better clip. It had kind of moved a little westward, then it kind of drifted, bumped a little north. Now it's kind of finally pulling off northwest, it looks like. And if that were to continue, it would come ashore right in North Padre Island region. However, it is expected to kind of bend west, so I think Padre Island is definitely looking like a good bet for landfall. If we zoom in, you can see areas like Raymondville up here looking a little bit uh, worse weather for you. Down here, Laguna Vista, Port Isabel. Port Isabel is having wind gusts very intense at this time, as well as South Padre Island. Again, if you guys uh, look at your weather, you are in some of the heaviest weather in these regions, and uh, we're going to continue to see that over the next several hours. Again, the eye wall looks to just about be on shore. There appears to be two eye walls. The uh, first eye wall you can see right there is uh, this outer wind maxima. That's, it appears to kind of be uh, expanding the wind field. And then right in this region here is the inner eye, and the center of the eye is right here. So when the center of the eye crosses the coast, that would be landfall. If you look at that track right now, it continues to move in this direction. That means that if it keeps moving and then bends west, we could still be talking about a few hours yet, but nevertheless still dealing with uh, the impact of Hurricane Dolly on radar, no doubt. 
Now here's the uh, latest visible satellite loop. As the sun came up last night, it went down, and Dowley started to look a little bit less organized. But this morning, you can clearly, vividly see a very well-organized hurricane. That upper low let up, and it was able to expand the western outflow and uh, look very impressive. Now the general impacts for Hurricane Dolly, landfall is expected in the next few hours. It's expected to strike South Texas. It was very close, but South Texas takes it. Winds could be sustained over 100 miles an hour. It could still strengthen a little bit. With that pressure being 964, winds could increase to 105, 110, and there's even an outside chance that it could become a major hurricane, but that seems unlikely. But the gusts will be over Category 3 major hurricane intensity. Storm surge flooding up to 6 to 8 feet nearer north of the center, and again, that's Padre Island. Padre Island really has to be taking a hit right now, and especially as all that water comes up. Rainfall potentially up to 15 inches, but if it slows down, it could be a lot more than that. You can see uh, this time 12 hours ago, uh, Dolly was still trying to organize itself way down here, and it, it was really having a lot of trouble. And then at this time, you could clearly see Dolly has moved well to the northwest. It's really taken that northwesterly course and the eye has kind of become clear-cut and well-defined. So as it makes landfall, its impact will be felt over the next, say, 24 to 36 hours, even as the system weakens the lingering rains. So I'm Mike Naso from podweather.com. Stay tuned to Internet Partnerships Radio live coverage of Hurricane Dolly as it continues to near landfall, and then even after landfall, we'll be on. And I'll see you next time with more on Dolly.